if one man lang got to so a eh, eh, idea or more about trends in more moody or moody na crank a crack. Now, the police administration, you know, and Omar refuted claims by the chief director of the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources at a parliamentary committee meeting. Now, of course, so July 10, 2023, say eh, the police service procures eh, the service of land to reclaim and protect its land. Now, the administration, you know, categorically stated that this is this claim, you no, know, a false, baseless, and unfounded, and should be treated with a contempt in deserves. I quote, I must say, the police service has not, on any occasion, engaged the services of Langat to reclaim or protect its land. In fact, on the contrary, the service has, in recent times, intensified its anti Langat operations in communities affected by the activities of these Langat, and this renewed effort will not stop mm -hmm. until perpetrators of such illegal activities are brought to justice. Now, on Monday, July 17, no, the Member of Parliament for a year, Tamale North, Al Hassan Suhini, and uh, Ekaya, said the Chief Director of the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources, uh, a friend of Patrick Abesignale, and uh, Orivili, uh, say, uh, land guard, you know, uh, they are contracting you know, to protect state's land. Now, Suhini, Ekaya, uh, say, uh, this came to light during an engagement that the land and forestry committee of parliament had with the ministry speaking to journalists uh, in parliament you know he raised concerns against dealing with a person whose activities have been outlawed uh, i quote or say mind you these are lands that are held on on behalf of the people of ghana invested in the president to protect i am sure that the framers of the constitution are aware that the president is the commander-in-chief of the ghana armed force and he sees with the opportunity capacity to ensure that these lands are protected for our common use. Now, Ghana Ham Forces, so I'm going to describe it. Yeah, allegations, you know, say, land guards are employed to protect lands of the military, you know. Uh, this was contained in a statement on Musa Mandi, on Musa Edibe Tujaya, signing uh, by Brigadier General Emmanuel Agrikwashi, or yeah, Director General of Public Relations. I quote, so I'm going to say, it is unimaginable that the Ghana Armed Forces cannot protect its own land, but rather indulge an illegality by relying on the services of Langat, a prescribed activity. GFA, GAF deems it regrettable that news reports emanated from unsubstantiated allegations made by the Chief Director of the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources at the Parliamentary Committee meeting on July 10. We wish to stress that this allegation which was repeated by Honorable Al Hassan Suhini, Member of Parliament for Tamale North, to the media is false and should be ignored. Commented by Eno Eni. Wisdom say, now in Ghana, we don't know who is telling the truth. Though. Mary say, investigate all politicians using Langard with firearms against the law. Mensa say, I, I hope so. And again, prove yourself worthy of the job. Tad, see, they are coming for you and your job. Ghana, we can't speak the truth. May God help us. Seth, they say, I will look at it in a different angle. The fact is the land guards represent our traditional rulers and they know the traditional land boundaries. They don't operate without their orders. So, if the security can draw them closer for training and easy monitoring, hope that will be better than their current state of operations. In this, uh, and I comment in the uh, and uh, yeah, they, uh, yeah, to know ABC.